We're at the Baker Creek Spring Planting Festival. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Living Traditions Homestead. This is Kevin and Sarah. Well, uh, we're at the uh, Baker Creek uh, Spring Planting Festival here in Mansfield, Missouri. Uh, we're so excited that we're going to get a chance to uh, finally uh, meet uh, some of our uh, traditionalists uh, uh, in person. Uh, we're just excited to spend some time uh, looking at plants, uh, listening to some of the speakers, and uh, I know there's going to be a lot of other uh, cool people, cool YouTubers around that we're, we're going to spend some time with, but most importantly we're excited to meet uh, some of you guys who watch us every day. Well, we're here today with Joe, uh, one of our uh, traditionalists. Uh, it's so awesome to always get out and get, actually get to put some uh, faces uh, with some names. Uh, we're just happy to get out and get to meet people. So, Joe, why don't you tell us where you came from and what you're doing here at Baker Creek today? I came here from Pittsburgh, Kansas, which is about three uh, hours down one of these ways. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know which way we're facing. <laughs> it. But it's beautiful out here. There's seeds, there's plants, there's great homesteaders. Uh, Kevin, who I've been watching for a few months now. And of course Sarah, who's behind the camera. Right. So we're, right. Uh, we're like, oh, <laughs> Teaches you everything you possibly ever want to know about a rabbit. <laughs> Except for the, the dirty deed, which well, is always stuck on our shoulders. Right. So there's just great people. I mean, you, you can't beat people. You really can't. It's, it's awesome to be surrounded by this many people who are like-minded. All right, well, we're here with two of our traditionalists, Steve and Marilyn, who watch us from Houston, Missouri. Guys, it's been so nice to meet you and spend a little time with you. Just tell everybody how you're enjoying your time at Baker Creek. It's great. We come every year. Yeah. This is one of those events we don't miss. And we couldn't ask for a nicer day, so we're just glad to finally get to meet some more of our traditionalists. Thank you guys so much for watching us. Thank you. Good to meet you. <laughs> So we're here, we ran into uh, Tracy and Ashley from Farm Alarm. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with their channel, you need to go check it out. It's a channel that's up and coming and they're just exploding. And they are doing some awesome things on their farm. Uh, what part of Missouri are you guys in? So we're right in central Missouri, kind of right real close to Columbia. Nice. And uh, tell us a little bit about your farm and what people can see on your channel. Sure, so we moved uh, from the, from a town, about eight to 10,000 people in that town, which we call a city. And uh, you know, we moved out to my grandpa's farm, um, off of his 200 acre farm on three acres. And uh, just decided to uh, you know take a step back a little bit. You know we sold our three uh, three level house and moved into uh, moved into this little farm farm uh, place. And uh, right now we're building a schooly a school bus conversion. And uh, so we're probably going to live in that for about a year while we build a, a small house. And uh, we also have we grow blackberries. We have five 80 foot rows of blackberries that we're eventually maybe going to turn into a U pick because it's getting to be a little out of control. Um, we have a greenhouse that we built out of a cardboard frame. Um, yeah, of we have a garden, we have chickens, we have sheep. Yeah, we just went up to Doug's and uh, Doug and Stacy's and we got two views from them. There was and, a video uh, about that. There was, yes. <laughs> and uh, he did an epic catch on that, uh, trying to catch one of those views. But then we got a ram locally, so just three sheep, but uh, you know, we're just going to breed them and, and consume that meat and sell, sell the lambs off as well. And we just keep that, our plan is just to keep the one ram and the two ewes and just keep letting them do their thing and have a little bit of income for the homestead and uh, just some food as well. Nice. So you see guys, another example that you can get away from the rat race. There is a better way to live a simple life, raise your kids, actually be there to raise your kids and have the life that you always dreamed of having. So well, guys, it was awesome to uh, meet you and thanks for stopping by. Absolutely, thanks a lot. Hey everybody, look who we found, Hardiness Approach. They just moved here a couple weeks ago. Yep, New Missourians. Yep, they're having a good time. This is the first time here at uh, Baker Creek also. Nice, and don't forget to go check out their channel. That's right, Hardiness Approach. Hey everybody, look who we, we found, Joe and Chris from Old Ark Ockrid Family. We haven't seen you guys in forever. Oh, what have you been up to? Waiting for the creek? Yeah. It is. Yeah, it's already getting lost. It is. Yeah. In case you guys don't know, they live right by us, so we go down to the creek swimming together. That's what they're talking about. Absolutely. 
All right, so we found two more of our traditionalists here, uh, Chris and Joyce. Uh, they're out at Baker Creek today, just having a great day. Uh, where are you guys from? Hampton, Oklahoma. Hampton, Oklahoma. And they came all the way to Baker Creek to enjoy this great weekend, pick up some seeds, and watch the speakers, and just have a great time. What was your favorite part of the weekend? I love the Baker Creek Seed Warehouse, the tour. The tour of the warehouse, yeah. It's a pretty amazing operation. Yeah. Great presentation. And getting to see our fellow YouTubers. <laughs> That's the best part. Well, we sure do appreciate you guys, and we're glad that you watched the videos. and. Uh, We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you guys. I have run into the photo bomb queen of Baker Creek Seed Festival, Lorella from Not a Farm Girl. Hi, guys. How are y'all doing? What's going on? I went up there in the store and look what I just bought. Ooh, hey, I know that. Yes, so I have been watching Sarah's canning series that she did and so if you haven't watched it yet you should go back and watch it and this is the book you swear by right? the yes bald. absolutely the, blo the bald blue book of preserving you so love it i mean chris and i are learning to garden and we want to preserve our own food so i picked this up while it was fantastic and lorella had a huge milestone just recently she had a goal that before the spring planting festival to reach <laughs> Now Doug photobomb. Now he's the photobombing queen. <laughs> yeah. And Stacy. <laughs> Lorella, had, I had a goal to reach 3,000 subscribers before the Spring Planting Festival, and it happened. Happy so you guys, now look who we ran into. Doug and Stacy from Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Wow, what an event. We're at Baker Creek Spring Planting Festival 2018. 2018. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're having a great time. There's so there's over 200 gardeners here in exposition, exponent, exponent, whatever that word is, and they're showing you all their plants. And there, a lot of people are having talks about seeds. And we got to see these guys and not a farm girl and off good with. Uh, Ozark off grid family. I mean, I've been talking non stop, guys, so it's been totally nuts. But it's, these things are so cool for community. Absolutely. Right, yeah. And we saw some awesome speakers. Uh, there was this off grid couple that we heard talk a couple yeah, times. They awesome? Man, they just were awesome. But you know what I like? I like to come here and look at the different vendors because the people come up with so many neat ideas. Yeah, right. I got the coolest. It was a man out of old tires. He made like new birdhouses. Oh, I saw that. And then even the tray that you can. Yeah, and I got them. I got them. No. Nice. So, so you got them. Addition to the homestead, and wonderful, just really cool ideas to recycle, yeah. repurpose, and reuse. Yeah, we love it because we sell at the farmer's market every week. Right. And by coming at a bigger thing like this, right. it gives us lots of ideas for what we can do at our smaller farmer's market. Love it. So, so yeah, these, go ahead. So, good time. Come out next year, see all these fun people, including us, and hopefully offer the Doug and Stacey. Yeah, and they have it the first Sunday and Monday of May every single year, so it's not even that hard to mark it on your calendar. You can do it right now. Just remember. Like, and the other thing, like we were talking about built community, like there's YouTubers that you guys watch are here making videos and showing you guys all the sights and sounds. So that way, in August, on the 12th and 13th, we're going to have a get-together in Hannibal, Missouri. Off Good with Doug and Stacy, we're hosting our first ever conference. So stay tuned to their channel because they're going to be talking about it, uh, helping us out with that, and just another way to build community. Well, we're back to the homestead. Uh, it's nice and peaceful <laughs> and quiet. Uh, we had a really great time though at Baker Creek, uh, meeting uh, so many of you guys and uh, getting a chance to hang out with uh, some of our uh, fellow uh, YouTubers uh, and some of our traditionalists and just other uh, great uh, people that we got to meet this weekend. Absolutely. Uh, so, you know what it means that we're after the Baker Creek Spring Planting Festival. We had a contest going on for those of you that could come out and meet us, uh, talk with us a little bit. Uh, we would give you a business card with a number on it and that uh, today is the day that we are going to pick the number that wins the prize from our homestead, which includes a t-shirt and um, a hat like Heaven wears and then some other homestead gifts that we throw in from around the homestead. All right, so we'll have our email address in the uh, description of this video. Uh, if we pick your number, uh, you need to send us your picture holding up the business card with the number on it. Uh, we'll post that to our community page uh, if, if you give us your permission uh, so that everybody can see the winner. Uh, but uh, without further ado, Sarah's going to go ahead and pick the number. What do you think? 
A lot no of people idea. wanted to influence Kevin. I know. To give him extra numbers and all that kind of thing, but I'm a rule follower. I know, she won't let me cheat. I, I told you guys that, so. <laughs> that's, that's called too many years working in human resources. Okay, I have the number. You go ahead and look at it. Let's see, it's lucky number 41. 41. So if you have number 41 written on the back of your business card from uh, Baker Creek, uh, go ahead and uh, shoot us over an email. Uh, take a picture of yourself holding up the card so we can uh, tell there's no cheaters out there. And then we'll get and with you to... Uh, we'll get your address and everything to get everything. for the t-shirt and that kind of thing. Right, and we'll get your prizes sent out to you. So we sure did have a good time meeting everybody. Yeah, we sure did. So now for some exciting, huge news that ah! happened while we were at Baker Creek. Yes! Uh, so not only was it enough that we were there, uh, but at Baker Creek, we hit 20,000 20, subscribers. 20,000 subscribers, oh my gosh, can you believe it? Well, maybe you can, because you're our subscribers, but man. I know, it was crazy, oh, and man. we really, when we talk to you guys, and we say that we're so humbled uh, that you guys would want to watch us, so uh, we really <laughs> mean it. Uh, we, we just... Uh, you know, we just want to be real with you guys and let you know just how much uh, we appreciate you and how much we get back out of the interaction from you. Uh, you know, when you live, uh, you know, a homestead life, you're here on the property a lot and, uh, you know, we we communicate with each other but not with a whole lot of other people yeah. and so it's nice to have a community uh, now of over 20,000 people uh, who want to be part of what we're doing and so, uh, uh, to thank you guys for that, we're going to do another contest. Another contest. So, so before we go into the prizes and contest stuff, I just really want an opportunity myself to, to let you guys know how thankful we are for you to be a part of our lives. I know Kevin said it, but it really means so much to us. Um, that you guys are following us and that you participate in our lives and uh, really find interest in what we're doing um, You know if it weren't for you guys we would have given up this whole you know YouTube community thing a long time ago and uh, We're just really really thankful for you guys And I hope that every time we put out a video you guys know how much you mean to us um, and how uh, you know, how grateful we are uh, right. to have you in our lives. Right, and you guys may not realize, you know, just, you know, how much we learn from you guys, uh, from your comments and suggestions, and, you know, we are never going to pretend that we know everything, and we're never gonna pretend that we have the best way of doing something, and if you guys have a better way of doing something, gosh, we would love to know it, because, yeah. you know what, we're all just trying to figure this out, we're all just trying to live uh, the best life that we think we can live for our families. Absolutely. And uh, so uh, now we have a much larger family than we ever thought we would. Thank so. you so much for sharing our uh, you know, story and sharing our channel with your friends and family. We just so appreciate, appreciate you guys so, so much. So as far as the prizes for our 20,000 subscriber giveaway, it's going to be the same prizes as for the Baker Creek uh, giveaway. Yes. Uh, we're going to do uh, one of our uh, hats with our uh, uh, name and logo on it, uh, a t-shirt, um, and then a bunch of uh, handmade items from around the homestead, yes. some of Sarah's uh, herbal salves, uh, probably some dried herbs out of the garden, uh, one of our cookbooks, yes. and just things that uh, we sell at the farmer's market and things like that. Uh, that we can uh, send through the mail. Absolutely. So uh, no tomatoes or anything no, like that. Sorry. But uh, <laughs> but we'll make sure that you guys get hooked up with some good things from around the homestead. What you need to do though is you need to be a subscriber and you need to comment below in order to enter into this 20,000 right. subscriber contest. Right. The only way we have of being able to pick a winner for this is for you to subs or for you to comment below and then one week from today we're going to uh, pick uh, the winner for Lucky that contest. Winner. So uh, um, so again, comment below and one week from today we'll be picking that winner and uh, we'll see who wins. Yeah, you guys, so it's been a, uh, an awesome last couple days. It's been exhausting as well, but we've, we're so glad that we did it. Um, so uh, if you're not a subscriber yet, right now is a perfect time for you to hit the subscribe button below. Don't forget to comment. Uh, until next time, you guys, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead, all 20,000 plus of you. Uh, take care and God bless. God bless.